Hey guys, it's Peter Brown. I'm here at After Hours for GameSpot, and I've got a beer, but I've also got a PlayStation 4 controller. So we're going to unbox this real quick. We're going to compare it to the DualShock 3 and explain some of the features that are on the DualShock 4, what's in the box, what's missing, what you might need to upgrade for the next gen. All right, pop this open. Cardboard, plastic, more plastic. All right, so here is the DualShock 4, and here is the DualShock 3. Now, immediately what you'll probably notice is the handles are a little bit larger, and the analog sticks are spread out a little bit. The top of the sticks on the DualShock 4 are a little bit, they have a bit of a dip on them, and they have sort of a ridge. The most prominent feature, though, is this touchpad right here, which you'll notice that you depress acts as a button. They've gotten rid of the start button for the DualShock 4. You have the options button and the share button. Uh, but so this is sort of like a multi-feature object now. Get rid of the DualShock 3. So you can go out to GameStop right now and buy these, but obviously the PlayStation 4 doesn't come out until November 15th. It's going to set you back about $60. So the primary differences between the DualShock 4 and the DualShock 3 really come down to the buttons. All the face buttons here are now digital instead of analog. You'll also notice that the shoulder buttons are concave instead of convex, which is a pretty big complaint about the PlayStation 3. It's worth noting it does not come with a USB cable. You'll have to buy a USB micro, which is what you would find with an Android phone or tablet, opposed to the USB mini, which is what the DualShock 3 supported. Anyway guys, that's all we have for today. Stay tuned to GameSpot for more PlayStation 4 info leading up to the launch on November 15th.